In Latin, these whales are called macrocephalus, big head, but in English, they're called sperm whales. The name originates from a misunderstanding of the whale's biology. Inside a sperm whale's head, there's a barrel-sized cavity containing thousands of litres of white fluid. When seamen first discovered the cavity, they guessed that the fluid was the whale's semen. They thought the cavity was a giant testicle, and so they named it sperm whale. In reality, the cavity has nothing to do with sperm. Its purpose is uncertain, but the fluid seems to control the whale's buoyancy. Alternatively, it might be used for echolocation. Apparently, it smells like milk. The most famous sperm whale is Moby Dick. Is this another genital reference? Probably not. The book was written in 1851, but Dick didn't mean penis until 1891. Moby Dick was named after Mocha Dick, a real-life whale who was named after the Chilean island of Mocha, not to be confused with the Yemeni city of Mocha, a historical market for coffee beans. On the subject of coffee, Starbucks was named after a character in Moby Dick. 